morning guys it is half past eight literally coming to half past eight in the morning which is really good this is how has some brand new better oats and i just have my tablet with the drink water So yeah, I'm gonna make that. I want a mashed banana, but I don't have a mashed banana. I want. I do it that with mashed banana. Should be okay. Just have like oats, brownie oats instead of that banana. Um, so I'm gonna have that. It's so hot today. I can't believe how hot it is. Um, Dad's upstairs. He's still asleep. <laughs> He's asleep. Which I'm like, oh, poor baby, still asleep. So I'm gonna open some windows because it's getting really warm in here which I don't like I don't like it being really warm weather the first was in that oh oh cool weather whoops um but yeah I don't think my body likes me changing my diet because I was vegan and my body's like yeah, yeah it's fine now I'm changing it it's like mm, no. I don't know so so what else so yeah I'm just gonna come back when Hi hey guys, I'm just looking at Benefit because I watched Nicole Negrero's uh, blog, which I actually do like watching. She's just a fun of fresh air, you know, just a fun of fresh air. And um, basically, which is really, really good, um, I'm gonna I'm looking on Benefit as well because I like to get some new stuff on Benefit. Not all stuff, but I'd like to get some new stuff. I know I'd love to get the Hula Contour stick because that colour looks amazing. I've, I've finished my porridge. Hey guys, just washed my face, just need to brush my teeth. But Dan's a little bit annoyed. Is it because I went downstairs? No. You were sulking that I had breakfast before you. You was you? Yeah, see, he was. You okay, baby? Mm. Are you still tired? Yeah, we need to get up. Go back to sleep, I'll wake mm. you when it's ten. It's fine, okay? Okay. So guys, I've kind of done up here. Okay, I can have my face wash, teeth brush, and now I've got is look on which I kind of like it's very simple it's not something that I'd normally do a very like pinky glossy look some studs in as well which I think is pretty so this look I got off Missy's channel if you know I don't know who Missy is she's a you coming down yeah, she's a person of daily bumps and she had this look on her channel which I kind of actually like. It's very nice. It's natural. It's not something that I do. It's not that natural. I need to. Because my foundation is very dark. Oh, it's so cold out there. So cold out there. But it's something that she did. And it's kind of soft. So nice, soft and natural. Which I kind of like. It's not too natural. But, you know. And today I'm just wearing this top. This white top. And this, these leopard trousers right here. Which I like. It's good. But... Hopefully you can see me. Sorry if you just angled at my breast. I'm just going to put some antibacterial thing on, which I absolutely love. It's very shimmer hand gel. I need to get some more because, as you see, I'm running low. Really, really low. So I might watch Tanya Burr to actually make rainbow, ba rainbow bagels. But I just got some studs and I love my studs. They look nice. I love them. Natural, natural makeup look. Okay, so I'm making some breakfast. I'm watching Star Trek. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up if you like Star Trek. So, my sister Tyler bought me a plant for my, for Easter? Yeah, for Easter. Well, it's a bit wet outside. So my sister bought me a plant for Easter and this is the plant that she bought me. Right here. And it's really, really taken off really well. <coughs> Yes, there's dead stuff on it, like the leaves are a bit going a bit deady, but the plant is literally flourishing. I believe this is gonna get even bigger, but it's beautiful. I love it. And then these two, these two need to take out. So the plants need to take out these two and the two over there that I need to take out. But the raspberry plant is growing so tall since it's not that much far. It's like it's like that width of that is how far it needs to get up. But I've just put the washing line that, wash that side. Just because it needs, I find that it's going to be better outside than inside. 
Oh my god, this is just going nuts. Look at all we got broccoli, we've got kale, we've got lettuce, that lettuce going on. We got raspberry, which I can't wait until it starts. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Taking flowers. So I can't wait for that. And I love that. Working to the office. That I got in HD. Dan! Yeah. We have no post. We have no post. What do you mean we have no post? We have no post. You seem happy by that. Thank you. I don't know. Are you happy that you have no letters going? You're gonna get this and that. Good night. But yeah, um, if you want to say hello to the postman, and he's he's all right actually. He's really nice and everything. Um, but I need to get a drink of water because if I don't get, <sighs> Dan, did you fart? Yeah. That's disgusting. Thank you. Oh, that's gross. But I'm gonna have to put, uh, fill my glass of water and put some more washing in. So I just grab myself a drink and put some more washing in. And after that, I'm gonna put some more washing in. And after this, I'm gonna have all the washing done. I just need to take that upstairs, that washing there. But I'm going to. Then what I'm going to do? Oh, have lots of water today and probably piss. Probably we like anything. I don't like it. I love drinking water. Don't get me wrong. Um, I love drinking water. But when you drink loads of it, you kind of we like a river. Oh. I think it's a bit better, yeah. We're playing Paladins and Dan got kicked out of the game. Like disconnected. Okay, you got disconnected. There you go, Dan, you're back in. Why'd you get disconnected? So, yeah, just need to sweep up this place. But I love doing like leaving the wash line outside for a while just to get stuck close dried quicker because we're living in Magnet, it's kind of difficult to put clothes outside. But let me see, I've just put some clothes outside. It should be all right and good to do. Um, but yeah, just a lot of like, I wanted to put it outside just because it'd be easier to put it outside. I'm gonna change that though. Bear with me. There we go. <laughs> and I love that plant. That my sister got me, I think it looks so beautiful. It's really nice and beautiful. I just love it these little things I have to pick out as well because I don't know why they just keep growing I think it's because when people when people come you know it's annoying oh. when birds come that's where I get it from but yeah uh, sometimes I sit out here but I do want to sit out here probably like when it's really really hot so I can actually do some I don't know do some things but I have to keep going to be just doing Charlotte Crosby Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again. And then just do it Thursday or Friday so it'd be easier. But Dan's playing Pavilion. And he was bored, but now he's not bored, are you? Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. That's what, that's what I don't like. It's, uh, that's okay. It's alright. Not like men do. It's alright. Not that bad. Isn't that good? I'm just going to move this stuff. 
But yeah, that's what I'm just doing today. Making muck. Just staying at home and you know, just playing games, reading, doing work. So guys, took off my makeup just because it has been on for about nine hours. And it's kind of six o'clock already. Which is something. But you know, it's just what it is. What do you want? He's over there. He, as in my husband, right there. He's right there. What are you having for dinner? I don't know why. I pulled something out of the freezer, but I don't know if I want it. What you buy? It's a veg vegan stuff. <laughs> vegan stuff. What's not vegan stuff? Just vegan stuff. Just some rice with some shit. Some shit? Yeah. Like. Brown Ted. Yeah, or orange. Orange Ted. Mm -hmm. better than the cast black Ted. Why do you think it's black? Uh, think black. Huh? Why do you think it's black? Because it looks black. But it's not black. It's a really dark, dark, dark brown. Yeah, it's really dark brown. You know, the colour, what colour would you say my Tyler's hair was? Black? No, it's dark brown. Okay. My mum's hair? Black. Dark brown. Your hair? Burgundy. All sorts. So, I asked my husband if he'd if we, if we like to play a game, right? With me, yeah? So I was like, Do you, can we play a game? He we went, no, I'll play one later. Guess what? He wasn't paying attention. I heard most of what you said. I just thought you were asking me if I wanted to play a game. Okay, are you sure you don't want to keep playing? Uh, it was really one where I had to play with. <laughs> so guys. How can I earn money? <laughs> <laughs> Except for when the cards might say, pay your opponent 25. Okay Dan, how was the game for you? Game was awesome. Mm. Um, what happened? Well, it started off slow as it always does, <laughs> you know, we We've well, been board. playing this for about an hour. Actually, we've been playing it for a little over an hour and a half. Okay now. Because we started before six. Mm -hmm. I... And then we played the switch. Yeah, so I ended up loads of money. I ended up little money, and then Dan ended up loads of money, and the tables turned. And the tables turned. So, 
everything you see on the table now, except the money in the middle and the cards, is mine. This is all my shit. But now I have to pl uh, pat the game away. This is the ball that we make. If you win, you have to pat the game away. Isn't that right, baby? See all that in mine. Should I work out how much I actually did have? Yeah, go for it. So okay, it's all packed away now because that's the wall in our house. If you basically win a game, you have to clean tidy up, and I think that is a really good one. Oh my god! Oh my god, I just have to get up because I'm actually need to get up. Just gonna shut the doors. Which is okay. I still actually not that bad out there today. Um, let me just put it down. <laughs> downstairs, she has a dog, so if you notice know, that barking, it's downstairs dog. Always is. Oh! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, are you alright? I'm not, no. Yeah, I don't think they're good. Okay. You can just do the club at me if you want. Oh, Dan, come here. You've got to feel that side, baby. Actually, no, it's really breezy out here. Can you hold that piece up and take in the washing machine? It is recording. You're taking in the washing machine, are you? The washing line, all right. Okay guys, I'm going to take you outside and show you the raspberry plant because uh, I'm still not sure what I'm having for dinner. I've done a little chopping to the raspberry plant today. There's a legitimate reason why I've chopped all those leaves off. You can see them all there. Which actually I need to move them, so let's move them. Basically, if I leave them on, when the actual raspberries grow, they'll yeah, get more um, more photosynthesis because there won't be as many leaves, which means there won't be as much of the plant to get the stuff to. Yeah. So, what are you making? Right. Why did you just have to make bread? Because you wanted to go back. No, oh, is that why you're making it? Yeah, you want to do it, don't you? You want a kebab, don't you? Yeah, but I gotta no, wait until No, it's actually needing into dough. So I've got my hands all messy for my husband. That's pretty useful. Thank you, you know Can that you. Can you put some more flour down for me, baby? Look at this, it's like really good. That's enough, baby. Look at my hands, they're like, got some sort of skin disease. Sorry who has ever watching does, but it just let me rub my hands together. Flaky hands. Oh my mum has flaky hands. So and you have a flaky scalp, so I know. don't make it fun of anyone, it's my family and you. Oh it's coming off. So I'm gonna rub my hands to make sure it gets all off. It's actually working, look. Holy shit, I didn't think that would work. That's actually quite clever, isn't it? Have you seen this? Yeah. Okay. So I've got the majority of my hands. If you want to if you've got some dough on your hands and you want to get off, just rub your hat Dan, is this recording, yeah? Yeah. Rub your hands together. Literally, all over. Literally just rub in between your fingers as well. Like pull out if you've got anything in between your fingers. And just rub. Well, this is actually not too bad. This is actually going quite well. So I'm just rubbing and everything's coming off. So I'm just rubbing everything. 
and then I'm going to pick up the stuff that has fell off, put it, like squeeze it together like that, put it on top and then what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to flip, like fold it onto itself and just roll with it. See, just roll with it. I'm just going to, okay, like, so just roll with it because then it will not go everywhere. There we go. So I'm just kneading it to get a dough consistency. Like a dough, it's pretty much there. Pretty as much there. The dough consistency is pretty much there. Just rolling it around to get all the bits that I've been basically, you know. Coming off it in your hands. Yeah, coming off it in my hands. I'm just gonna knead it. It's not getting sticky at all, which is quite good actually. It's getting sticky a little bit, but I'm just gonna put some flour there. Tap it and just knead it as per usual. Kneading tape, it is a good work kneading, but you just need to push it out and fold it back in. This is how I knead, and some things, some things get stuck on me again, but it's how I knead. And this is, this is for large dough, really large. Okay, so I'm just gonna knead it right here, just go over here, pick up the flour. See, as soon as you start kneading it, it becomes sticky again. I'm just kneading it. Little arm power, but my husband's probably like, mmm, that looks good. Okay, so, so it's a shape, a shape in a dough, which is what? I should need and dough, shape in a dough, as required, and place in a grease tin thing. So, that's what we've got. Is that it? That's if we want to make bread, yeah. Cool, I'll use some of this as well. So, I don't know how much dough. I need to put in it, so I'm just going to get some butter. Literally some butter, just put your hands in there. I'm just going to grease the tin. You can do it with oil if you want, but I find if you do it with butter, it look, it feel, it actually is pretty tasty and it won't stick. Well, that's the plan anyway, not let it stick. So I go up all the sides as well. Make sure it's all greasy in there. See, let's just something like that. Then I'm gonna wash my hands quickly. Okay, I haven't really washed my hands. Just dance them in water. But if you wanna know where my red ring is, my red ring's on side. Where? Underneath the lid. Underneath the thing. I have my red ring's there just because I put my wedding ring there just because I don't want to um lose it in the bread. Yeah, lose it in the bread or not lose it in the bread, like get all the breadcrumbs on the ring. Which is not really good. Still got a little bit of dough left on this. I'm just gonna rub our hands together. And here we go. So it says to place the dough in here, but I think that's a lot of dough, or should I just put it in there? It's a lot of dough, so why don't we split it in half and make a few rolls? I, I, I tear off a little bit. Okay, just be, just remember, dough's very sticky inside. So I probably just want to use that just for the, um, just for the rolls. What do you think? Okay. Because this is, it is big, but it's, it's to do a large roast. Okay, so I'm just going to do it and then put this in here. Press it down. Like that. Press it down, right, and this is going to rise, right, then what it, you do is get some cling film, always get cling film, and what I'm going to do is just wrap it. So you don't need to cover it. Yeah, I'm just going to cover it. Don't see it there because it's double the ink inside. You know, here. just going to wrap it and then put, take a towel, and you're probably wondering why I use a towel. It's because when you have a towel and everything's hot, 
it, this will actually help your one to rise. So make sure it's not a dry towel, make sure it's a wet, warmy, hot towel, which this isn't. But it's okay, but I'm just going to cover it over. Let me see. So with this one, I'm just going to do a couple of rolls. I'm just going to... Are you still recording? Yeah. Just going to grease... Just going to grease the inside. Like kind of like around here. I'm not going to do too much grease. Because I don't know how many rolls I've got can do. So I'll probably get a good two to four out of it, depending on what size you want. I don't know what size you want. I'm not bothered. Okay, so I've greased it up. Made it all greasy. Okay, that's all greased up. I'm going to use this because it's going to double in size. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to roll it out. The reason I'm going to roll it out is because I'm going to cut it. And with this... It's going to be long after the end. Take the knife. Dip it in flour. Which that isn't much of. So get the flour. Put it onto the knife. Right, and then what you're gonna do is cut it, and your knife won't stick to the, the pastry. So here we go. We got a nice little roll here. And don't forget this will double in size. So I'm just gonna roll it. And don't worry, these will double in size. I don't know how much they'll double. But there we go. So I'm just gonna place it there. Then I'm gonna dip my thing in there as well. Cut it again. As you can see, there's no dough on the no dough on the knife. Just a clean knife, so no dough on. So I'm just going to roll it out again, and as you can see, I make sure there's a little bit of room. So here we go. So I'm just going to roll it up and just put it this one down here. As I'm going to put this to the other side because they're going to spread in size. Don't if knife in again. Make sure it's all floury. There we go. So your knife. I always go over this with a wash it again because you've got flour in it so you always just do that but if you keep doing that trick just dunking it into the flour and putting it out you will get no actual stickiness on the knife and no dough on there i bet you didn't even know that i did not and basically what i'm going to do is just put that there and put this one right there they're not they're all different sizes which i don't mind so i'm just going to roll this out as well if you want you can like knead it as well so I'm just going to do that just to get a little bit of flour on him. And as you can see, I'm just going to put it there. And then get some clean from again. And do the same principle. But if you, because we don't have another towel, what I'm going to do is just clean film it like this. And then I'm going to shove it under here. Just because this is a warm area because everything goes on. But I'm just going to turn the, le the light on just to get a little bit more heat there. And so there we go. So we have two loaves. One's the bread right here. And the other one's that right there. So we're going to have to wait until they rise. And they take around about... They take... I'll probably wait around about 20 to 30 minutes for them. Just because I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take. Most bread doesn't kind of doesn't have an expiration thing doesn't actually say how long just leave it to rise basically i'll come back and i'll show you when it's really big because it will really double on size i mean they will double really big this will double really big as well i'm just going to place this under the cooker as well to get a little bit of heat there as well so guys yeah i'll come back when it's all done so we basically just put our bread in the oven now they actually raised and sized you can you wait for your bread no okay that's cool yeah. So guys, it is 9.26. I'm going to end the vlog today. I hopefully you've enjoyed today's vlog. It's been nice and relaxed and playing games and everything. It has. So Great please uh, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> like. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.